everybody, they're really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Destiny's Princess along Nobunaga's route. We are on chapter 4 with him, King of the Kill. Oh, I can't even remember what happened in the last episode anymore. Um, what? Didn't he coach us in killing a demon? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll remember as we go along. So, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Sorry for the lack of recapping. This is the second time. A number of days passed, and I couldn't ask what Nobunaga meant by those words. Why, do we not able to get close to him? Geez, he doesn't care about my problems. He only comes to me when he has business with me. Now, now. The dagger unusually spoke in a calming voice. Whenever you think about that man, you become quite angry, don't you? Well... I was mad. I thought he wanted to touch me with lewd intentions, but this time he neglected me. I'm mad about that? I didn't know why myself. At first, I thought I'd summoned a terrible person. I still thought that he was terrifying. I don't, I don't understand what she means. I still thought he was terrifying as I didn't? Ugh. Oh, because the stupid sentence broke. Because I didn't know his true intentions, and yet... Protect father! I said that without hesitating. But I felt like I couldn't let him die. He was violent, a drunk, lazy and irresponsible. Still, I couldn't let him die. Then again, not everyone in the castle felt the same way. He started drinking at noon again today. The other day, he was wearing strange clothes and took a horse to where the demons loitered. I heard that too. Anyway, one of the men that went with him got injured again. I swear, he used to be such a calm person. What made him change so dramatically? He acts like a fool. A fool, huh? Whether I liked it or not, I overheard those rumors again and again. I let out a sigh. But I don't think he's an ordinary fool. Yukimura! Before I knew it, Yukimura was standing behind me, smiling. Eavesdropping is a good pastime, isn't it? I didn't mean to. I wanted to go over there, but it was hard to. Why don't you just walk out boldly? Because it's hard to, I just said. You say that, but... I sighed, and Yukimura laughed. He sat down on the porch. Why did you say you didn't think he was an ordinary fool? It's because he seems to be planning something with Kotoro and Hanbei, despite not being around. How is he planning things with them if he's not around? Really? Yeah, I have no idea what he's thinking. It would be easier to think he's just an ordinary fool. Yukimura scratched his head with a troubled expression on his face. You seem hesitant to pin him as a fool, Saya. Yeah, well... Well, he is my father. I sat down next to Yukimura. I do think that he's changed considerably, but I feel like Father is now trying to accomplish something big. Hmm. So I found out I wasn't the only one who felt that way. Today, I offer you the country of the rising sun. No, I'll cross the sea and offer you even more. A part of me thought that he was capable of doing anything. Another few days passed. Princess, I'm here. Daddy! Eek! Lord Nobunaga! He came right when I was changing. I was only wearing an undershirt. In a panic, the handmaid bowed on the floor. Nobunaga put his hand on his chin. It was like he was enjoying himself as he took a good look at me. Oh, I must say. No, you must not! Get out of here! This instance! You don't need to be embarrassed in front of your father. Come on. Hurry up and change. He wasn't about to leave, and in fact, he calmly sat himself down. You're so lewd! Hmm? What are you talking about? Nothing. I... I decided to keep changing. Because I still think he's sexy, in spite of the fact that I won't admit it to myself. I turned my back toward Nobunaga and ordered the maid to help me. Please give me my clothes. But The handmaid looked at Nobunaga and me. She was flustered. It's fine. It's faster if I change now rather than wasting time trying to make him leave. 
If he'd come a little earlier, I would have dropped a pot on his head. Even if it was just an undershirt, it was better than wearing nothing at all. While I adjusted my undergarment, Nobunaga smirked as he looked at me. I became even angrier. When I was completely finished changing, I brought my knees together in front of Nobunaga. So? What do you mean, so? You came into my room, no, a woman's room, with no warning to watch me dress in the early morning. I'm asking if you have a reason worthy enough to commit such atrocities. I say this every time, but you really have a way with words. Nobunaga lightly waved his hand to the maid next to me. If we need anything, I'll call for you. You may leave. Yes, my lord. She quietly went out of the room. It was now just Nobunaga and me. Right before she left the room, she looked at me with worried eyes. You have a right to worry. Father, why did you make her leave? What exactly do you want to talk about? You still call me father, even though we're not related by blood. Ah, we actually get to have this conversation now. Nobunaga laughed out loud. Ugh. That was right. With no one around, this was a good opportunity. The reason I came here today was... Um... Why did I interrupt? I interrupted Nobunaga, knowing full well it was rude. My apologies for interrupting you, but there's something I must ask you. I forgive you. Speak your mind. What did you mean when you said, this is the second time? Nobunaga answered unfazed. Oh, that. There's no hidden meaning. It's just like I said. Just like you said? Yes. In any case, it's related to why I came to talk to you. Listen to what I had to say. Nobunaga took out a folding fan and began to fiddle with it. When I said it was the second time, I meant that it was my second time coming to this world. What? He's been here before? Never mind, okay, all I can do is- I can't even speculate, let's just hear what he has to say. Then, you've experienced all this before? Of course. It seems like this house calls upon the same people when they're in trouble. So it's not just... This world, it's my family, has called him here before. Nobunaga looked into the distance. I don't know how long ago it was. After I came here, my previous memories became faint. But I remember everything that happened here after I went back to my world. Nobunaga grinned. And, once again, after coming here, my memories became hazy, but... Does that mean you've forgotten about the previous time you came to this world? You're a quick one. Yes, that's what happened. But he remembers that he came here. If that was the case, it made sense why he knew. I remember a little more about my world than I did the previous time I came here. The stuff about Takeda and Uesugi? Yeah, that's one part. The spell placed on us may have weakened the second time around. I wonder if this game is a sequel to a different game, then. Nobunaga laughed, as though he remembered something. But, you are quite the greedy girl. I'm not too pleased to hear those words. Why do you say that? The previous time, only I was called here. However, this time I wasn't the only one. That's... because I wanted a harem. But these games never give me the harem that I want! I was at a loss for words, and Nobunaga pointed his folding fan at himself. It's fine. The night I was called here, I was shocked to see some of those men. Does that mean you're familiar with some of those other people? There are a few I don't know. I don't know where Masamune and Kotaro were called from. Nobunaga smirked. Out of curiosity. What was your true wish? I frowned. Do you even need to ask what I wished for? I want to save this country from the demons. That's all I wished for. If you just wished to get rid of the demons, summoning one of us would have been enough. Seriously? Only one of you guys would have been able to get rid of all the demons? You know full well that those beasts have little intelligence. That may be true, but... By myself, I could have taken out the likes of the demons. Please say that once your wound fully heals. Nobunaga smiled abruptly and put his knees out in front of him. Say, princess. Are you cozying up to me? W what is it? He was close. Without thinking, I tried to turn away. How was I summoned here? W why? 
Isn't it natural to be curious about the methods you use to summon us here? Nobunaga was so close, I could almost feel his breath. <laughs> Some time ago, when he took me on the excursion, I blushed as I remembered how I shivered for no good reason when he kissed my neck. For no good reason, are you kidding me? Nobunaga combed through my hair and entangled his fingers in it. I remember there was a treasure that granted me wishes, but the previous lord never showed me. Wasn't that because he was taught it was dangerous? Dangerous? Why? Nobunaga's fingertips went up my neck through the gaps in my hair. M maybe he knew that if he used the treasure, you would do unfathomable things to this world. Oh, the previous lord told me the same thing. Ah, so he was well aware of Nobunaga's ambitions. Well, tough luck, Nobunaga, because the last wish in that dagger is mine. You can't make a wish on it. I gulped on instinct as his finger reached my neck, and he twined my hair about it. <laughs> Nobunaga laughed pleasantly. I crawled toward the wall in order to retrieve the hair he snatched. I... Uh... Glared at Nobunaga. I ain't scared of you. Cut it out already! I'll call for someone! Call them? And then what? I'm just playing around with my daughter, and that's all. That does not sound right. Playing around? The obscene way you're using your hands? He wasn't being obscene, really, was he? Come on, he's just playing with your hair. It's no big deal. Nobunaga laughed joyfully for a while, and then stared at my face. Say, princess, I want to stay in this world. What, do you think it'll be easier to conquer than your own? The first time I came here, I was sent back when they were done with me. I couldn't sightsee. After I'm done, I don't want to go back. I want to stay here. I'm looking for a way to do that. Oh, so... Well, if we fall in love with each other, you can stay. Why? I couldn't think of a reason why. Why would he want to be away from the things and people he loved? Maybe he didn't have any things or people he loved back in his world. I don't remember my world very well, but I'm sure it was rather boring. But here, there are explorable lands everywhere I look. Even when I think about obtaining it all. My blood starts to boil with excitement. Nobunaga's eyes were burning brightly. He clenched his fist hard. For some reason, I felt that if he got a hold of the dagger, he was liable to do anything. I listened to what he had to say, and... Mm, was somehow charmed by it. I felt myself being pulled into his words. I hadn't known him until recently. Everyone in the castle thought the Lord's personality had changed. I thought Nobunaga and the father in my memories were quite different. Nobunaga was strong. It was like there was a fire burning in him. It was scary and charming. As I listened to him speak, I felt like I wanted to see the country he was going to make. However, I can't tell you after all. I answered frankly. Nobunaga wasn't discouraged. In fact, he questioned me right away. Oh, why is that? If I did, many people would die. If he controlled the entire world, I knew it meant he would cause bloodshed all throughout it. Hmm. Nobunaga smiled. He's not smiling, he's still frowning. Well, if that's how you feel, it's fine. I won't pester you about it. But you're not going to give up. I can tell. When I felt relieved and put my hands on my chest, he abruptly threw questions at me. From time to time, you talk to your dagger, don't you, princess? Huh? I'm talking about the dagger under your clothes. Nobunaga's eyes had a dangerous light to them. I heard something peculiar. Someone heard two voices coming from this room, but daggers can't talk. Nobunaga came closer to me as I glared at him. Could you let me see that dagger for a little bit? Be my guest, you can't use the last wish anyway. And if I say no? Then, I'll just have to steal it from you. Nobunaga smirked and reached his arm out to me. Ugh! I tried to get away, but he took my arm and hugged me from behind. Where is it? His hand was ready. R ready for what? With my free hand, I pulled out the dagger right before he was about to take it. I eh, didn't want him reaching right in there, huh? Let go of me! Oh, I can't do that. Nobunaga tried to steal the dagger from my hand, and I took it away. 
we went back and forth. <laughs> Isn't uh, the person trying to keep away is usually the taller one? <laughs> How am I keeping it away from him? I'm surprised he isn't just knocking me over and grabbing it. Somehow I was able to thwart his attempts. I held the dagger close and bent over into a ball. Ah, great strategy, Saya. In any case, I can't hand this over to you no matter what. I should, like, run, not curl up into a ball. Oh, he's pouting. For a moment, Nobunaga frowned as he looked at me. He let out a deep sigh. I swear, you're so stubborn. Then, how about this? <gasps> With his hand, Nobunaga unveiled my kimono and touched my legs. W what are... Nobunaga smiled cheerfully as I became flustered. Come now, if you don't let go of the dagger, you can't push my hand away. Can't I hold on to the dagger with one hand and push him away with the other? Who knows where I'll touch you. Moreover... I don't really mind if you don't let go. I don't really either. Ugh. I twisted my body and tried to crawl away, but he caught my ankle. I fell forward. The bottom of my kimono was completely separated, and my legs were exposed. Without hesitating, Nobunaga's hand crawled up my leg. I bit my lip and bent my neck backward. Oh, you're still going to resist even after doing this? Nobunaga tried to hold back his laughter. I felt a new warmth from where he touched me. Uh... I am going to thrust the dagger at him, because I can't take it anymore. Well, sigh, I can't. I would have. No! My shaking hand was on the dagger's handle. I don't want it to do this to me. Whoa. I drew the dagger and swiped it in the air. The drawn blade barely missed cutting his skin. Nobunaga looked at me with shocked eyes as he dodged my strike. Nobunaga glared at me while I tried to control my rough breathing. A single tear fell from my eye. You're... You're not my father! Leave, you drudge! I yelled at the top of my lungs. Well, it's good that he's not your father because you wouldn't want your father to do that. I felt stronger, just like I did when I shot the demon on the excursion. I felt like I could kill him if I really wanted to. Nobunaga looked at me absentmindedly. After staring at me for some time, he then burst into laughter. <laughs> w what's so funny? Nobunaga tried to contain his laughter as he slapped his knee with vigor. You have good eyes. I like it. Huh? Nobunaga put his big hand on my head and rubbed it roughly over and over. He then vigorously stood up. I'll forgive you today out of respect for your courage. In the end, I figured out what I'm after. Ugh. Is he going to send Kotaro to pickpocket me? He smiled over his shoulder and left the room. As soon as the sound of his footsteps disappeared, I lost all strength in my body. Um, princess, I heard a big commotion, but are you... The handmaid peeked inside from outside the door. Her expression changed after seeing me. P princess your appearance! Oh! What a dreadful shape I was in! My kimono was folded up to my thighs, and my collar was a mess. It looked as though I was raped. Although, he might have done something similar to me. Oh, come on, that's nothing close to rape! Just as I thought that, I remembered the numbness I felt when he touched me. My cheeks turned red. Princess! Um... It can't be... Uh, I'm fine. It's nothing, really. We ended up in a quarrel, that's all. A... Uh, a quarrel, you say? Yes. Well, something like that. Even for me, that was a bad excuse, but I couldn't help it. You need not worry. I'm fine. Could you help me change one more time? E yes The handmaid went around my back to tie the belt for my kimono. I let out a sigh. The handmaid wasn't convinced. I wish that man would think about how others see his actions, even if it was only a little bit. But he really isn't just a fool. He must have either pretended to be a fool, or his ideas were so big that no one could perceive them. More than likely, it was the latter. Ah, oh, finally, a chapter that was a decent length. Cruelty and the Beast. Okay, that's a bad pun. Come on, Nobunaga, make a move faster. I feel like since, uh, 
Nobunaga's route is supposed to be the spoiler route, and we know all kinds of stuff, that he should be moving in on us faster. But, oh well, he's taking his sweet time. I really hope he has an awesome ending. I expect great things from you, Oda Nobunaga. Well, I hope to see you in Chapter 5, or in some of my other videos. I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.